dress she wore. Super call organizers say roughly 5,000 people entered the gates at Bayfront Park on opening night yesterday. They were really excited to see uh, Kaiza, and so once the people started coming in, it just started filling up. Today, the afternoon shows drew very little movement, but organizers are expecting an even bigger crowd tonight. Uh, over 10,000. The park's capacity will be capped at 15,000 people in the final showcase. General admission is free, and anyone 12 or older must show proof of vaccination with ID. As curtain call approaches, festival director Tim Potisic says the plan is to bring the flagship event back to the downtown core next year. Super crawl in itself will always be on James Street North. I mean, that's just something that we feel really um, it's unique. Merchants by the waterfront selling delicious eats, art and clothing say they're eager to get back as well. It is great to be in the park, but I think yeah, on James Street, you just get so much more foot traffic. The not for profit organization started back in 2009 as an addition to our crawl on James Street. Each year, the event grew, drawing hundreds of thousands to a slate of musical performances, art, and food vendors. For Crawl is an institution now. Like, people look forward to it. People come from everywhere. I've, I've met people from the U.S. that have come here for Super Crawl. So I think uh, they've built something that's going to last forever. Not forever, but generations, definitely. Due to the pandemic, Super Crawl dialed down its programming. Beginning next year, more expansion is in the works. The director of the festival says starting next year, the Super Crawl brand plan on presenting shows on a weekly basis. So in various venues of various sizes, so, you know, 100, 150 cap artists that are coming either through town or local artists up to bigger bands uh, at our new 500 capacity venue. And then when we rent the church or if we rent cops, and then we also plan on adding uh, uh, an event in this park that would be a fully ticketed event next year. Potisic says more revenue generating events will in turn spawn more showcases at no cost, bringing jobs and artist exposure. He adds that bookings in 2022 are in place. One of them is a notable international name. One of them is a very notable Canadian name. So, you know, that, that's pretty vague. <laughs> so how about that? I can't really go into details, but contracts are signed. And In regards to those plans next year, Potisic says that expect an announcement sometime around next June. As for tonight's festival, it's expected to wrap up at midnight.